Well, we're at Sura, and they reworked the menu here, new menus, and I was told that the vegan section is right here. Here it is. This is all brand new. Look different before. Pretty cool. Man, their food is good. I'm really excited about this. Hangover ramen, that's gonna be what I get. But not spicy because I'm a big baby. Do you have any idea what you're interested in? I know I got the spicy last time, but remember it was uh, actually like a little too sweet, if you remember right? So I think I'll get. I wish you had the spicy, but it was not like that. Yeah. I can ask him about it. Right. These are not our appetizers, these are just complimentary. Did I just drop them? <coughs> Finger foods. This is a real Korean place, so they don't believe in forks here, which doesn't help me. <laughs> they manage. This is like potato and carrot and some kind of a spicy sauce of some sort. It's it's spicy and it's really good. Vegan kimchi. Some broccoli, carrots, sprouts, or mung bean. And what is this? Some kind of rice noodle or something? No, it's not a noodle. It's like that. I forget. I know this. I've seen it before, but usually it's not shred. I, I, I do. Oh, I'm not a wild one. Is it spicy or? I don't like it. It's like a pickled that in. Oh, it's pickled. Yeah. Screw that. I stay away from pickled things. It's gross. Mm. I'm waiting on our appetizers. Which, for our appetizers, I ordered the tofu steak appetizer. Sauté tofu triangle served with Sura's tangy soy sauce dip. What did you order for the... Oh, yeah, you ordered the shiitake, the shiitake shroom fries. <coughs> yeah, these fries. And is that it, or did you order something the, else? Well, the ramen. I got the spice ramen. Remember I just that? mean appetizer. No, I just that one. That okay. Ramen. So, yeah, and for your... You did get the, the hangover ramen, but spicy but not sweet. And I got just plain ramen, not spicy. And with tofu, both of us got tofu in ours, and a side of steamed rice. And so we're waiting on that. And his phone is giving him issues, and he's been messing with that for a while. It's freaking phone will not unorient. It, tw it turns down. around, and it won't flip back. I know with iPhones we have a switch, but apparently it's no, it's that phone doesn't. Or it doesn't normally do this. Oh, look what I got. Look what we got. We got mango slushies. Well, this is freaking awesome. Really good. Tell me what you think. So good, right? I'd be really good with alcohol after. Very good now. It'd be very good with alcohol. Yeah. All right. We'll be back soon. Shiitake fries. Got my steam mix of white and black rice. Very good. And we got a second serving of those yummy potatoes because I ate them all. Very good. Tofu steak. We're gonna see what this tastes like. Here's my main course. I've got my ramen noodles with tofu. I'm telling you, these noodles are always per perfect. Every time I come here, they're the perfect consistency. Never soggy, never crunchy. Perfect. And my mister, he got the spicy version. Looks really yummy. Still working on these. Still working on my tofu steaks, which are good because they're like a kind of like a sweet, sweet with a slight spice. Really good. And this is going to be amazing. All right, can't wait to start in on this one. Here's the damage. Almost finished my rice. Almost, well, halfway finished the steak tofu. I needed some 
good damage to it. I really overate the other day, so I'm Yeah, he overate the other day. And I still have plenty, but good news is you can take it home. And our our drinks are, well, this is mine. I got like a sip left. He's gone. I was drinking yours, actually. Yeah, he was drinking mine, too. I wish you could see the one behind him because she has a lot of ink. And I'm curious to see what that is, but, you know, I don't want to be pushy. <laughs> be like, hey, show me your arms. Anyways. Well then, I'm trying to end this vlog for the day, and I did mention in Dermo's truck earlier that I wanted to talk about something, and I wasn't able to during dinner because it was just too loud in there. The music was way up. So now I'm in the chill zone, and this is where we come to just chill. We chill, we, you know, relax. And, um... I wanted to talk about veganism. Surprise! It's a little bit different. I was watching a YouTube video. I'm not going to say any names, but those who follow may know. Those who don't, sorry. <laughs> you may not, never know who I'm talking about, but she recently posted a video about a bunch of different things and in that conversation she was having she did mention how she no longer refers to herself as vegan which that is not anything new to me I heard her say this before a couple months ago or what whatever and um, and so she reiterated that and she said that at first eating a vegan diet was great for her health and she saw and the the many benefits to that and then after 10 months later 9 months later whatever it was she said she got really sick and those were her exact words really sick and she was eating her fruits and vegetables and even though she was doing that she got really sick her hair was brittle and she was just like oh my gosh dramatic okay and that irritated me because people like me people like um dermo and other vegans and ethical vegans we consider this and it is actually a fact this is a lifestyle change this is a way of life it is a philosophy it is not a fad diet um, it's not a trendy thing just because a celebrity is doing it or a bunch of beauty gurus on YouTube are doing it so let's all just try this because it is a trend that's not what it is for people like us for people like us this is forever and when when you're doing veganism you have to do it right or you're going to feel like shit you can't just eat potato chips and junk food that's plant-based and expect to have great skin um, be high weight proportionate and not have any any kind of ill effects of course it'll make you feel like crap because you're eating shit. Just because there's no animal products in it doesn't mean it's perfect. You have to do it right. You have to eat your leafy greens. You have to eat your, your rice, your starches, your um, fruits, your vegetables. And um, check your blood after like a year. Have your blood checked. Have your B12 checked. Have your vitamin D checked. Uh, vitamin D deficiency, that was the one thing that came up on my blood work that I did um, several months back. Um, I had my blood done, and um, my vitamin D was low. It wasn't dangerously low, but it was low. And it was low because at the time I was living in Washington State where it rains most of the time. There's not a whole lot of sun except for maybe eight weeks in the summer. Other than that, it's gloomy and it's raining and... Uh, it's a common thing, whether you're a meat connoisseur or not, um, to be deficient in in the, the aspect of you're not getting sun. So most people are deficient 
there and in other places where it is not um, a sunny place. So, uh, yeah, I was taking a vitamin D supplement for that, and then I ended up here in California where it is sunny most of the time, and so I stopped taking that, and um, I don't have any uh, problems with that anymore. My B12 was perfectly in line in the normal, so that's fine. Everything was fine except I was a little low on my D. So my point is when you're saying in a vlog um, on a YouTube video like how bad veganism was for you, you're kind of spreading disinfo. I'm not saying you're not allowed to be critical, but if you're calling yourself a vegan and then you're saying, oh, I'm not going to be vegan anymore because I miss fish and I miss eggs. Um, okay, um, and then, that, that's, that's, that's fine. I don't want to come across like I am some holier-than-thou vegan. Uh, I am a flawed human being. I am completely flawed. <laughs> I probably have this camera upside down. That's how flawed I am. <laughs> but, if you're going to claim something, and then you're wishy-washy, and you're like one of those bandwagoners, it's gonna irritate the fuck out of me, and I have to say something. Um, especially when you claim to be vegan, and vegan, like I said before, is a philosophy, it is a lifestyle. There are ethics involved with becoming a vegan. To be plant-based is a different thing altogether. That is... I am just eating this way for whatever reasons it is not attached to an ethical stance. And what I mean by that is you can eat plant-based food to like uh, lower your cholesterol, um, to um, get rid of certain types of diseases, reverse certain you know damages from diseases and whatnot. But to be a vegan or an ethical vegan, you are vowing, you are vowing to not use, eat, um, have anything to do with animals in a sense of you're not going to wear leather, wool, silk, um, you're not going to, or suede, you're not going to use household items that have been tested on animals or have animal products in them you're not going to eat honey because it disturbs and disrupts and steals from the bees and you don't want to tread on any living sentient being you just don't want to tread on them that's a vow you take and it also means that you are not going to use makeup and hair products and you know hygienic products that were tested on animals or have animal products in them. Um, that is what a vegan is. That encompasses what veganism is. People like me take it seriously. It took me a long time to come to this. And so therefore, you know, I really take it seriously. I, I don't care for all the jokes of, you know, but bacon and but, you know, more for me and stuff. I, and I really, really, really dislike when people say, oh, I was a vegan for this amount of time, and it made me so sick, and this and that. You're... It's like this. You claim to be vegan, yet you use cruelty makeup all the time. And it's not that you were just ignorant to what vegan was, because at the same time as you're using them, the next video would be like, this is my cruelty-free, this and that. It's vegan, girls. Use this lipstick. It's by Vanlani. It's vegan. And then the next video, you're like, oh, well, I use Maybelline gel for your eyes. Or, you know, I use this and that. And and I use CoverGirl. And I use it because it's on trend and this and that. Knowing that those places test on animals. And then another thing is, oh, I have 51% ownership in a deli that serves meat. But I'm a vegan. And... Don't worry, I have vegan stuff on the menu, but I'm a vegan. Like, it, hypocrisy much? Like, you were never a vegan. You attempted to do, and I, I don't even know if you, you may have had cheat days. I don't know. Maybe that's not fair of me to say, but 
when you're missing eggs and you're missing animal products and you're supposedly a vegan, usually vegans, yes, there is a learning curve for a while, but when you've made that connection, I mean, I would like to think you make that connection. Like, it's not like, oh, you know, I am well aware that this happens to the baby calves after they've forcibly impregnated the mother to get the milk. The milk is for us, so they take the baby away and I'm fully aware of what happens to that baby if it's a male and what happens to that baby if it's a female I'm fully aware of what happens in the egg industry because I've done the research and I see and I know what happens to those chickens the male chickens they don't there's no profit to be made in them so they grind them up or suffocate them like as soon as they hatch as soon as they sex them they're donezo if they're males. If they're females, they get to live the same horrendous life that should last about 20 years, but they they will live like a couple of years until they don't produce correctly, and then their torturous life is ended in a very torturous way. Once you make those connections, you don't go, I really miss eggs. It's like the last thing you want to do is have anything to do with that any any way you don't want to support it so when you're saying I'm a vegan and then you're like but I use this cruelty makeup but then this is vegan and then that it's like you're all over the place and you really never stood for anything so don't go on and 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 say shit like oh veganism is just it made me so sick that's just a cop out just you know and I'm not trying to tell people they can't say what they feel, but don't spread misinformation 